I'm out of gas. Welcome to Moron. And this is the very beginning of the log splitter project. I'm down here at our local junkyard, McKee's. And uh, they got they got a fresh one sitting here for us. Paid them 180 bucks for this thing. And uh, I'm about to take it off a trailer. I mean, people are saying you want about a four to five inch cylinder. And I mean, this is probably at least six. I mean, it is hefty. This is a hefty machine right here. We should be able to split some pretty serious logs with it. I'm just gonna try pulling it off with the tractor. So that was pretty successful. We have now got the splitter off the truck on the ground. It's got this uh, circle ball hitch, um, which I guess I'll just hook up to the tractor's ball. Getting the uh, the engine mounted. Uh, I'm just welding it there and there, and then we're gonna put the pump right underneath the shaft. Back when I start blowing through it real quick. You think the only way we need to... Hold on, I'm, I'm struggling here. So if you could... Okay, go for it. Okay, here goes. I got an idea. You got an idea? Get a little starting fluid. Oh. It's not gonna spark, is it? I don't know. Is the spark plug hooked up? Oh, it's not hooked up. The spark plug well, is hooked up. Well, that was stupid. I mean, that's why I didn't fire. I bet that'll take care of it. Okay, so it only cost $120 in new hoses and fittings. We should have everything hooked up now. Uh, we're about to start off the engine, put oil in our oil reservoir. See if we're pumping oil. What are we in this for? This is like 400 and... Have 180 in the frame, 20... For the hy hydraulic uh, valve. And the valve. 30 for the adapter from the engine to that, to the pump. And 120 in lines and fittings. 50 for the oil. 40 for the oil. Our issue was we did not have a key in that key slot, so this thing... Well, I have put a key in there, and uh, she's ready to go. Fifteen and a half horsepower engine did not appear to have the power to turn this pump. We have a 25 horsepower V-twin on here with the stacks on it and uh, homemade glass packs. This should turn the pump. Although the uh, the connector we have, that last engine had a one inch shaft coming out of it. 
This has a one and one eighth shaft, so I'm waiting on Dad to get back with the parts. If you just choke and then right off again, it should usually fire up. That's how. Something you learn about these Lovejoy couplers pretty quickly is that these screws will fall out. I think I've already lost six of them. Uh, so there's no real way to keep it from sliding up and down on the shaft without those screws. And they fall out. So I made a PVC pipe uh, spacer here. And I had to slice it on one side so I could slide it over. And now I'm using this hose clamp to keep it from falling off. And on the bottom, I just took a piece of a one inch pulley, cut part of uh, the shaft off of the pulley. And so now it's being used as a spacer for the bottom. When you, when you buy these uh, rubber things that go into the Lovejoy couplers, make sure you buy extras because they, uh, they don't hold up too well. Oh, hello. I'm at the uh, 